It's always the saxophone. Ooh, we got PPSH of Mosin. Right? I keep changing my gear every goddamn time. So hopefully DK got some kind of sleep last night. And by sleep, I mean mostly just slept probably for a few hours, woke up, but not entirely rested. I always feel bad when I play Kenshi because it's like so many people show up and I don't know how people actually play that game. So I'm like, here I am just sitting in one spot playing it like I do The Sims where I'm like, I don't want to go out anywhere. I just want to stay in this one area because it's either safe or it's more convenient for me. I, I mean, I'm trying. Suck. Yeah, I guess I missed or he's dead. Nope, don't want any of that grenade. Sleep again. Well, I probably would sleep about that long if I had the chance, but I just can't get myself to actually stay asleep. And the hip pains that I have are too obnoxious for me to actually stay asleep. Stop throwing the fucking nades! God damn it! I can tell that was a person. But, I enjoy that people who do come in for, to watch Kenji are nice and helpful. They're not too much assholes. Because then DK would have to put them in their place. <laughs> I never know if they're gonna keep spawning or if I gotta push up faster. I just like taking them out before I go up. I I can sleep on my back, but I can't literally lay on my hip, my left hip anymore. Oh god, okay, I got stuck. I can literally not lay on my left hip for very long anymore. It I uh Something went, something, I forget what the hell the word is, but, uh, I can't do it anymore without constant pain running all the way down my leg. Uh, it, it's as if the, uh, cushion, the, like, ligament or whatever, the padding there, um, Jesus, there is gone, so it's, like, just me laying on nerves, bone and nerve or whatever, I don't know, something with my left hip. I cannot lay on it without just agitating all of the nerves in my leg. And it just feels like... It, it feels like if you laid on your right side and someone left a 20-pound weight on the nerve of your left hip constantly. I'll get that every so often. I have to take stuff for anti-inflammatory and just help relieve pain and stuff on it. So some nights I just don't sleep. That's also why I don't, I'm up really late when I say I'm going to go to bed. Because I'm just just ready to not deal with that pain and I'm like I feel more comfortable if I just stay awake <laughs> but yeah luckily everybody was nice Kenji I just like I said it, it, it's I'm so used to rim world where like shit constantly happening that like there's sometimes a lot of downtime before shit happens in uh, Kenji um because, like, I'm literally just farming, trying to get money and a little civilization going, like a good starting area to hone everybody's skills. So it seems so boring because I'm so used to a constant action-packed game that I feel so weird playing it and everyone watching. But it's like I actually don't mind. I'm glad that people are not complete assholes about it. And, uh, oh, potato masher. And also, uh, helpful when I don't understand game mechanics totally. You try getting a whole something to use as padding while you sleep? I try. I even lay on, like, a really soft cushion. Uh, I've had for, um... Like, for my couch, I've tried laying on anything that's softer than what my bed is. 
different paddings, but it's like the moment there's any weight on my hip, it's just pain and or at least discomfort. I have to be really tired before I can uh, before laying on it, so I don't actually notice or feel the pain because I'm uh, so exhausted that I'm asleep. But yeah, I'm glad they're nice. I, I'm just so used to when I play games like that to run an adventure and explore, but I have to remember the game can be whatever you want it to be, and I have to keep reminding myself, like, I can sit here and do farming and get money, build a community in the game like I'm doing, and that's a way to play it. You can go and be a traveling trader. You could also go and be captured and be a slave. It's like you can do anything. To be honest, Ed, I kind of imagine you because you're so into EDF that you, like, sleep with, like, EDF-related things in my brain. I like to just imagine all of your crazy weaponry that you have that you just sleep with, and then any time a disaster happens, you're prepared. Then, like, your waifu thing being, like, the EDF-5, like, wing diver. <laughs> what else? I could see DK sleeping in fencer armor or whatever. His battle gear. Like, wake me when you need me, and he just shuts down in the suit. I always love being the lighter classes, usually. Like, in certain scenarios of games, like, depending on what they are. I love heavy weapons and slow things for massive damage, but I love mobility and speed overall. So that's why it's tough when I'm playing Neo, because I want to do a lot of damage. But I want to dodge, so I swapped up my playstyle a bit and trying to find that balance. But like EDF, I'm like, I like having strong damage, but I have to complement my mobility when I'm doing Prowl Rider. Because I can't sit there and I, I get too bored sitting back sniping. So I'm like, I want to be in the shit of it, but I also need a strong weapon. The proper rapid fire weapon. Uh, my favorite version of the heavy class. That's why I think so far I really enjoyed the Prowl Rider for being able to jump around and web swing around. I kind of wish that would continue on in other games or something along that line. Even if it's not letting me control beasts with an overdrive, I just want to have the ability to swing around. But that's also why I like having vehicles. It's my favorite thing, just being a goofball with vehicles and airstrikes. Which sucks because I'd have to be a regular trooper if I want the best capacity. Oh, no atheists in foxholes isn't an argument against atheism. It's an argument against foxholes. I do like the, uh, both versions. Like, I like the Insect Armageddon Heavy a lot from the little bit that I played, but then I switched because I didn't want us both being it, even though that'd probably be effective. Oh, God. But I, I definitely like the one that they have in uh, Iron Rain. I really do enjoy that uh, heavy. Take my style hand grenade. I fuck if I know how to say that. Just take hand grenade, please. That's pretty much how I am with the Prowl Rider. Like, it's my favorite. I just need to know what I want. Like, clearly I want a sword. I like being in the shit of it and hitting with a sword. But I need the proper range, and it's like, right now that Railgun's pretty cool. 
but stand, I, in certain areas or maps, it doesn't work out for me because I'm just standing still trying to shoot that thing. Wait. My pronunciation's going to go right down the hill for this with German stuff. Oh, well. Sniper! He had this gun. I don't know if the PPS-42 is better. It has less ammo. It has less ammo, though. And the PPSH is my favorite. Good. Now wait for Pavel to get that bastard's attention. Pavel, do it. Yes, comrade. I saw. Lod. Air. He's gonna keep shooting me. I don't. Oh, there he is. He's dead. Good shot, comrade. Yes, of course. I'm just trying to figure out what I want as a secondary for my Prowl Rider for when I'm playing it because I really do enjoy the swords, but I gotta figure out what I want secondary to it. I thought he was gonna throw his hat in there. His helmet is confused. Please don't throw a nade, there's really no reason to. Oh, the Luger. I'm probably going to hear my f this phone go off a lot. It's not even my phone. It's Super Bowl time. It's crazy. Until <laughs> the mask clear. Works out. That or you drop an airstrike right where I had my ship coming in. And thank God it got stuck in a tree and not hit by the airstrike. I just use a controller now because it's much more casual for me to lean back and rest. Which I'm surprisingly doing pretty okay. With the Prowl Rider. In, with a controller. Oh my god. Oh. Shiza. I wish I didn't have the sniper, because I really don't want to be aiming this. Buddy, I don't even know where anybody is. Wiggle the stick. I'll try to seduce him like that. Make him wiggle his stick. Wink. All right, guys, I shot the tree. Resident Evil 6. Oh, God. Believe it, I'm looking at the left building. And full right building. Your right or stage right?
Interesting thing, I'd set up a sniper, not an MG, but maybe it works that way. This is why I don't war. <laughs> this song about Resident Evil 6. Exactly. That's, I played that with keyboard and mouse. I didn't have my USB extender to sit back and relax at that time. Now I can sit back and play games a little bit more comfortably. Don't worry, I shot him before you even could say it. Oh god. I keep talking about EDF and all I'm going to want to do is play it. <laughs> yeah, I got the one. I need another cable for my Xbox controller though because that one keeps disconnecting. Because I, I think it's actually the controller itself because when I plug it into the PlayStation controller when games work with that, um, I have no issues with disconnect, but the controller for the Xbox, God, I move like a little bit with my knee and it's already over. What, is there just an anti-tank weapon lying around here? What the fuck? Who the hell? Shot him in the foot. But now I can sit back and do PC things like the last cyberpunk session I did. I sat back with the controller because even though, yeah, I might need to aim, I aim better with a keyboard and mouse. I can uh, sit back a little more comfortably and just play the game while it's killing my computer. Anyway, about that anti-fucking tank weapon. Sometimes I just like a standard machine gun when I'm playing uh, Iron Rain. I'm... But it's like I know there's better things than just using a machine gun. Found some ammo for the PPSH. Means someone died. Oh, I guess they got the vehicle. Yeah, take that. Fucking push you guys back. Yeah, I've got the Russia campaign. Or whatever. Our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising up every time we fail. On to the next. 1941. The Desert Fox, Field Marshal Erwin Rommel, arrives in Libya to assume command of the Africa Corps. Within a few months, Rommel, the rising star of the German army, recaptures the territory taken by the British Commonwealth forces prior to his arrival. Despite being heavily outnumbered by the British forces, the superior range and armor of the German tanks allows the Africa Corps to take the fight to the Allies. By July of 1942, the Desert Fox and his unstoppable Africa Corps, in a series of classic Blitzkrieg attacks, pushes the British forces eastward across the deserts of Libya and into Egypt. Now in late 1942, holding their ground a mere 60 miles from the Egyptian capital of Cairo, British Field Marshal Montgomery's forces including the Desert Rats of the 7th Armored Division, prepare to blunt the German offensive and regain the initiative. Thank you for joining for History Weekend. Anyway, our squad has been given the task of leading a surprise attack on a remote enemy supply dump. And his plan is to launch numerous attacks on this sort of... on this sort to draw the Jerry's attention from his forces to the north. 
not sufficient fuel or ammunition reserves. Rommel and his Africa corpse won't last long in the open desert. But I like Jerry. Now we're not Russia anymore. Ah, the Thompson in the Lee Enfield. Back with the Jerry's. Today was just an interesting day. I've had to go. I've, I'm wearing like literally my third shirt today. I've had to switch out two of my shirts. It's been a mess. Do love me the Thompson. He didn't know what to do. Leave me guys, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, hey, it's Sergeant Griffin, Private Dowd. Not the drive through I thought this was. Gotta get used to using the Thompson with a much smaller mag. PPSH has like 75 rounds. This is Ed's plan. He comes in to talk about EDS stuff so that it wants, it makes me want to play it. <laughs> All I'm going to be thinking about in the back of my mind. It's going to be an interesting time tomorrow because we're not, uh, we're not going to be playing World of Warcraft with Brandon tomorrow. We're swapping it up a little to take a break from WoW on Monday with him. I gotta suck at one game and then learn and suck at another. Oh god, suck at another game. Hey, how you doing, Private Cook? Oh, I popped my head out for two seconds, and that's how you lose war. God. Oh God! Uh, oh, oh. Please, no more, sir. I do not want another. What the fuck, man? We got a rendezvous with Captain Price. Then Tuesday, we're going to be doing a uh, PS2 game we're going to start up, as well as uh, continue Parasite Eve. Then Wednesday and Thursday, we'll probably continue Saboteur, as well as swap in the other games. Final Fantasy, Kingdom Come, Deliverance, and or uh, maybe starting up another random game now that Infamous is done before I start Rune Factory. Who knows? There's so many choices now. Have you heard? The queen works at a German brothel now. <laughs> you I don't know sometimes what they're yelling at me. Good to know. How did they know? Oh, 
multiple gold stars on the cup, which means you have to choose the path to complete these objectives. So many Jerry's. Every one of them is just named Jerry. It's not because that's what they're calling the Germans. Who's here? I'm doing the best I can. Why can't any someone else's? Why does me, the man named Davis, have to do everything? Fight me, I'm a good guy. God's it the queen. I believe it. Good job, team. Glad I did most of the work. Right, Captain Price? You proud of me? Nice price. Oh god. Well I found it and shot all of his intelligence on the wall. corners and in front of you when you're getting smacked over and over by a weapon a lot of guys in this hole don't mind me You know what's funny is when Ed said, have you heard that your queen works at a German brothel now? I'm like, why would they be talking about our queen? Forgetting who I am for a moment right now. I'm like, what queen are we talking about? I thought he was making like an EDF joke. <laughs> then I realized who the hell I'm playing as. I am the guy who uh, keeps your morale up. Yes, sir. What? War is a series of catastrophes which resulted victory. I don't know. Had to stretch. Uh, we're heading back to defend a small town that sits upon the choke point in the enemy's minefield. These minefields stretch for miles across the desert, preventing us from launching a full scale attack against the African Corps. Captain Price says we've got the Jerry's outnumbered, but without enough safe passages through the minefields for our tanks to get through, that numerical advantage is useless. I enjoy just the World War era stuff. Other than that, that's about it. Once it got out of hand with the World War things, it's not the thing. Football! <laughs> Brandon wanted me to play a football game for the stream for Super Bowl Sunday to like do like either a simulation or play the game of who would win uh, the actual Super Bowl. Or at least play the oldest Madden game I, could, I had. 
to do try to play the simulation of it, but I uh, decided not to. They even have like it, but I don't own them. I, well, I own one of them, but they have a Civil War History Channel fucking game. Can't wait till we play that one. No one's gonna watch me stream that one. No one wants to sit through the fucking History Channel. Fucking toss. Oh my god, that dude did a flip. Oh, I'm getting over there. Can I get on this? God, I was kidding. This is giving me bad memories to Call of Duty 1. I can't see very far out. Dude, they're sh sir, they're shooting me. I, I just said sue, they're shooting me, but I meant to say sir, they're shooting me. God, war is hell. War never changes. I feel like shooting this thing at them is kind of a war crime. <laughs> Whoever played Duty Calls the Bulletstorm promo game or porno game. I don't know which. I don't know about Duty Calls. Played Bulletstorm, though. I think if I'm thinking of the right game, except I played the Duke Nukem DLC of it. Is this a crime, what I'm doing? I don't know if you're supposed to shoot this. Maybe this is meant for people. They're not in a vehicle. Oh, well. Jesus. This is the coolest shit you could ever play. It's the best. I love it. And not doing this is just a really random, spontaneous joke to play Call of Duty games as I played through one and final or finest hour already, and now I'm here. They're the best. Maybe it's my ultimate plan to bore DK with war. Oh god, no, I don't want the Leon field. Too many cherries. Let 
It's also kind of weird how I'm just one man being able to do all this, but then like half of my other guys are all dying. You know, they would get us if they just flanked from all sides and not just some from one side and one from the other. Almost out of Thompson ammo. There's fucking fire! Am I winning? I don't know if I'm winning. God, you want me to spot targets? But I'm dumb as shit and I can't see very well. You want me to fire. I don't think that's where you want me to fire. Put it on ourselves. Oh my god. <laughs> These are so many of them. Someone must be playing Age of Empires and they're like just giving them just get so many materials and spawning enemies out of their fucking their home base. I don't know if I'm doing anything at this point, but I'm trying. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. I like how the one was like, I should move a little bit up. Holy fuck. Here they come, the Northwest, they said. EDF! <laughs> we are the Valiant Infantry. <laughs> we won't be able to look. 
You never re-roll me while looking for rip more characters. What, I gave John cataracts, I think, or whatever in his character. I always keep him. John's always got some fucked up issues with him. Damn it, it keeps moving. He's too skilled. Don always gets the fucked up shit. DK's always OP or has a peg leg or both. But then dies to my stupidity. Mainly the last time he just died of blood loss because the mod was at the blood loss shit happening so fast. We've won today as they're all sprinting towards us still. And I was a mercy kill after you murdered Princess. Well, yeah, that was that one was part of my stupidity, but I was also exhausted. Look at. Other time you just died, you died because I was trying to get you to the freaking place and you just bled out before we could even get there because a lot of our battles took place so far away and we didn't have any medicine at the time because winter happened and we weren't growing much to stabilize and the inventory system is so tough because either you can carry everything or nothing at all. So I had to, I have to like actually learn about setting loadouts so people carry first aid on them. We called upon to secure the gaps of Rommel's 30 mile long anti-tank minefield. The engineers call it the Devil's Garden. Once we're past this barrier of mines, there's nothing between us and pushing the African corpse out of Egypt. Blokes and X-Corp made the first breaches a few hours ago. It's up to us to help secure these corridors so that the rest of the armor can pass through safely. Split into groups of six per tank! Come on, boys! Goddamn text messages. I'm just making sure I'm not trying to be nosy. This isn't my phone. This is family's, but making sure it's not them actually texting me about some. Yeah, I got to learn to do indoor farms. It's just, I, I suck. What do you want from me? All right, I'm still learning. And I'm also like, I'm kind of that person that gets stuck in his own way where it's like, this is the way I want to do it. And, or I, 